Hello and welcome. I'm Zyner and I've been doing a little bit of work. First of all, I built an igneous extruder and a barrel. So, first of all, let's look at the barrel. It's really simple. It's just logs and a slab. And that holds 64 stacks of any given item. Now, the other machine I have here is an igneous extruder. I could use it to make obsidian, but it will sit and make cobblestone for free forever. So, that's also fairly simple. It's from Thermal Expansion, so it's built using the machine frame. Piston, glass, glass, tin, tin, and the pneumatic servo, which isn't that hard either. So, I did that to get a lot of cobble. How much cobble exactly? Well, you might be able to see some of it through the trees. I... yeah... And I can actually get dirt very easily via the uh, minium stone, which if I build, if I put the, if I lay a layer of cobble down on the outside, I can use the minium stone to turn one block at a time straight into grass. But uh, I have filled this thing the whole way to the top. I've filled the entire inside with sulfur torches. Uh, I don't believe there's a single spot... Oh, well, yeah, this should be nine. So there's not a single spot in here that shouldn't be lit enough. I uh, just need to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, this is all too thick in every spot. Save for... I think... Oh, yeah, yeah it's still too thick, except for that right there and these little entrance bits here so and if you look at the map it is a bit hexagonal which doesn't bother me but you can see the amount of deformity caused by the uh, far side the one where it's shaping around the water so let's just head over there real quick I'm probably gonna build the outer grass layer on this I don't know, maybe I'll work on it tomorrow, I'm not sure. I do know that whatever I do for the walls on the inside... See, that actually looks like a proper Minecraft mountain for the most part. It'll be, this the whole thing will look a lot better once I get grass on it, I'm sure. Because right now it's just a big gray blob. But, uh... That reminds me. I wanted to change... How do you change it? There should be... Oh, minimap options... Texture! I much prefer that map. It looks much better in my opinion. Not a big fan of the circle map though. Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about that. There we go. That looks better in my opinion. But, uh, I think I need to get stuff moved over there. I think for now, what I'll probably do... I know I want to build the... F I probably want to build at least most of the floor in there out of basalt. I apologize, my nose is still a little, uh, stuffy. Throat's a lot better, but my nose is stuffy. I'm going to try to prevent sniffling as much as possible. But uh, I think I might temporarily build the walls out of marble bricks, at least for the small house-style enclosure for my machines over there. Although I might need more marble. Doesn't need to be anything too spectacular. I do plan to have the power in a completely different part from the machines and stuff, but uh, see what we can come up with. You see these potatoes? That's all I have, because I made the mistake of cooking every potato and not saving one, so... Yeah. Yeah, and I probably have enough, uh... Rubber? Well, not rubber, I haven't turned it into rubber yet, it's still sticky resin. Um... Let's see... And I could put the nether portal somewhere, either bedrock or something, I just don't like hearing them, but I want it in here somewhere, I believe. Although I might go check and see which direction the stronghold was. I don't know if it was more that way. Because if it's more this way, it'd be perfect. 
but and maybe not because it was a couple it was like 300 blocks it'd be way over that way that tree was in my way and instead of completely tearing it down I literally just built through it not through it through it like I the, the outer bits are gone but it's still there I think for now let's see assuming that I was to build it even with the wall and I put the machines close to the start I want a two wide gap the whole way through so it would actually function like that because then I leave oh hmm uh poop that'll be fine and then ideally what would happen is past that point they'd start curving up with the mountain um I didn't bring anything else whoops oh whatever that will do so it'll basically do that I'm not sure I might do it as sections of little buildings I'm doing hand motions here as if you can see them and so what will happen is well in short I know this is the worst way to describe it, but if you've ever seen played World of Warcraft and you've been to Ironforge, it's going to oddly enough be fairly similar to that. As embarrassing as that sounds, but including adding some lava in the center. Cuz yeah. But who says you can't take inspiration from things built in other games? It's not as if I'm going to exactly clone it. But I think what I'm going to do, please tell me my Omni Tool wrench is in here, or not Omni Tool, uh, Crescent Hammer. Yeah, it is. Okay, so, what this means is I have to start deconstructing things, and I really like the redstone energy cells. It's a pity I can't do what I just did to this thing, but... Eh. Uh. What am I doing? I'm doing that. And I'll take this guy. Because I want him. The coke oven has nothing in him. So I'll bring that with me. I moved my bed back here because I would try and sleep. And it would keep on saying, there are monsters nearby, there are monsters nearby, there are monsters nearby. Hey, monsters fucking hate you. So, I moved it. To back here. I'm gonna bring that with me. 26. Very good, very good. I'm going to temporarily store these in here, because they're irrelevant at this current moment. As you can see, all the power is still in there, so that's good to go. Uh, let's bring some lava with me. Yeah, that should be enough. Now, is there anything else I need to bring with me at this very second? You, sir, can just keep doing what you're doing. I'll worry about you some other time. Oh, and it's night time. Lovely. Lovely, I see. Place, sleep. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get over there, and I'm going to... I think instead of just moving everything, I saw you, Creeper. My sword's almost broken, so I can't afford to fight you, really. Uh, one second, I have to cough. Okay, sorry about that. Resolve that with a simple mic mute button on my keyboard. But anyhow, I'm going to get the stuff moved over. And then I'm going to... Make a solar panel and a jetpack, probably. I think this is enough room for this for now. If I put the machines here... See, if I use marble bricks, especially for the machine room, I can have all sort of pipes and stuff coming through, and I'll never need to see them. If, like, 
for example, I could put the machines... Ooh, dark as hell, isn't it? Now I need to check and make sure it's not dark as hell back here. Yeah, this is fine. I have six machines. I only need five of them hooked up at the moment. So I'm going to take said machines. So I'll put the powered furnace here. And the pulverizer next to them. The induction smelter can go here. This is the magma crucible, I think. And liquid transposer. So then I can have that, the orange output, blue, and then red will output, actually it needs to be orange, like that. This guy doesn't need to go anywhere, otherwise he'll risk screwing everything up. I can, uh, you know what, I'll worry about these machines later. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're the aqueous accumulator for the uh, other machine. Uh, you can sit there in the corner. Wow. That's daft. In the meantime, uh, let's see. One, two, three, three, four, five. Now, ideally, what would happen is somewhere in here, like maybe right here, no, not right there. Uh, maybe in the floor, right here. I would have the... This would be an energy tesseract. See, there's only one problem, and that's... The fact that... No, actually, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Now, this one needs to be set to that, otherwise bad things can happen. Sort of, but not really. I'm not going to set up all three of these engines. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because I don't need all the power right now, but uh, these machines are going to drain quite a bit, especially the magma crucible, right away. And I'll put Mr. Rolling Machine in here for good measure. Coke oven. Uh, the Coke oven and the blast furnace. I'm probably going to have multiple Coke ovens somewhere. And then they'll be piping out to like a tank or something. And then that'll pipe into a carpenter specifically designed for making uh, rail beds. But once this guy's full, he should be the last one that needs to finish. Okay, screw that guy. So, that's good there. Uh, but, ideally, I would build this as an energy tesseract. And I'm going to throw this guy here. Ooh. I'm just going to throw him down somewhere. Because I don't want these things on me at this very second. But I didn't bring a chest. As for Mr. Coke Oven... Oh yeah, I don't think I explained my turtle situation. I don't remember, honestly. I may have seen the previous one, but I don't believe I did, because I believe the last episode I put up was me creating the initial surface for that uh, thing. Um, I had an issue with the turtle. I had my game crash while I was uh, playing, and I think I did show it. I gotta go back over there anyhow. I think that place is fairly safe other than my way in and out being clearly unsafe as hell. But uh, I think what we're gonna do is one of the first things I'm gonna do is make a solar panel and maybe a bat box. I think I need a bat box for the solar panel. But I've got 33 sticky resin uh, let's bring some coal. Gonna need some copper. There's a gold chest somewhere. Here. Let's just bring some of each and then I'll transfer over the rest of it later. Uh, 
Um, redstone? That should be good for now. Except for the dirt that I don't need. I'm gonna bring the lapis, because you never know what you can need. I think that's pretty much everything I need at the moment, except for that I'll have no way to craft over there. I was gonna say, didn't I have some extra project tables? Anyhow. Uh. What am I doing? I'm out of my mind. I could theoretically just go along it now with a minium stone and convert all of that to dirt or grass or whatever it turns into. But. I like the idea of having it too thick, just in case there is a creeper explosion. It will not wreck my stuff. A nuclear explosion, that would be a different story, and I'm probably not going to build a nuke, because they're dangerous. But we can put Mr. Powered Furnace running and turning that into rubber. While he's doing that, I will set up a chest, I guess, right here. Eventually, this is probably going to have different machines for different reasons and whatnot. But for now, there was some stuff in here. I think we need only three coal as dust at the moment. And three. Good, good. Uh, how are you doing? suppose that's not very good at all. What do I need for a solar panel? That's something I probably should have looked up. I need a generator. Well, crap. I need two electronic circuits. That's easy enough. I need three glass. Generator takes a battery, which means I need thingy. Great. I need... I need those iron furnaces. I didn't want to do... Just all of a sudden move everything over and have you just be like, Here's my house, I've moved everything over too. And just have it be like, What did you do in that day? Holy shit. Although I may have already created that with the giant cobblestone mountain. I don't know. In other news... Someone I know started up a Minecraft server, but he's one of those people that feels that even though you have friends on it, you still need every single anti-grief protection on the face of the planet. Um, right, iron furnaces. And unfortunately, I'm the kind of person that feels as though that... Okay, anti-grief? Fine. Whatever. Disabling my ability to TNT mine? Extremely annoying. But, okay, fine. Now, adding in all kinds of crazy things like MC, MMO, so you have to, you can level up your mining and your forest, your wood cutting, sorry, that's what it's called, and your swordsmanship. No. No, that, that just doesn't fly with me. Fuck! Fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck. Can I make... Does it make sand or gravel in a pulverizer? Oh. Uh... No. Sand. I didn't bring the minium stone. Hmm. Interesting. It is... Pulverizer. It makes sand. Uh... I want to borrow this. Thanks. Actually, I need three of them, don't I? I filled this in with cobble. And if you're wondering why I'm using an iron pick, I wasn't sure how many picks I was going to go through. So I just kind of went. If that makes sense. Oh. Okay, so... I need... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five? So, I've been playing the game Stalker Clear Sky. I've had it on my Steam for 
ever. But I hadn't really played it. It's definitely interesting, albeit kind of annoying at times. Speaking of games and been playing them and stuff, I've considered playing... Uh, well, I thought about playing Doom. Like, recording the whole thing one session, just playing through it. Not a speedrun or anything, just a run. What the fuck are these things? I don't know how you make them, but they look bloody interesting. I should probably get rid of that. So, uh, where is my tin? One, two, three, four. I need two redstone. Oh, who am I kidding? I need four redstone. I should have brought some electrum to see if I could double the circuits, but... Meh. I need five of these things. And while it's doing that, one, two, three, four. One. One, two. Ari battery. Are you done yet? That's all I need for the moment. Thank you very much. Are you battery? One, two, three. Iron furnace. Generator. Okay, sir. Kill. Very good. Now, just need to make some electronic circuits real quick. There's two. Place those there. Oh. This guy here. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Solar panel. I don't know if he has any actual internal solar storage of his own. He does not. So we need a bat box. Which is made from more batteries. And I didn't bring any wood with me. Ho oh, ho, but there is tree. This tree now shall serve a purpose. Now shall. Yep. Now I'm going to need two bat boxes, because I need one for the jet pack. Because I believe it's built out of a jet, or out of a bat box. And it sounds about right, because it stores 30,000 power. Granted, a bat box holds 40,000. So there, there better be no wood up there. I hear you, spider. I hear you. Stay away. This is my house. Oh, another good reason to move was... I don't know if you remember, but that wisp spawner over there. That thing... Well, not wisp spawner, but the... Uh, I'm assuming it is a f natural flux node from Thomcraft that was spawning wisps. Which was a slight problem, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, there's only one problem. I don't think I can break this without it having a risk of breaking back down to a generator without making an electric wrench. So, it's going to stay there till eventually I make an electric wrench. Which, while it isn't that difficult, I don't care. What did I need? I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And six. That should be do me for now. Dun 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 dun. Have I ever mentioned that project tables are just genius? Ah crap, I said I needed two of them, didn't I? Well crap. I knew there was a good reason why I brought so many materials over here. That's overkill. No, stop it. You're not allowed. Nope. Okay, so there's six batteries. There's way more wood than I'm going to need, but I don't particularly care. And... That is two bat boxes, one of which I will need for the which I'm thingy. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much at the moment. 
where I put the output and stuff from this. <sighs> spider! Spider! But I am going to put the bat box right here. It should be powered directly by the thing. I think we'll pull this out for the moment too, so we can place it the right way. That dot signifies the output. And because it is nighttime, it is not generating power. Which is all fine and well in my book. So. That rubber does not go in there. What does a jetpack take? Jetpack. Hello, jetpack. You take a bat box, an advanced circuit. Oh. Crap. I don't think I ever gathered any glowstone. Other than that, easy enough. Four. Okay, so I need... I need four glowstone. And I also need... Five refined iron. One, two, three, four, five. And so I need one, two for the circuit, one, two, three, four for the advanced circuit, one, two for the advanced circuit, and the bet box. Okay. Thank you, sir. It's night time out. Things are going to try to ambush me. Spider eye. I'm pretty sure I didn't gather any glowstone, but I'm going to go in the vain hope that there is some glowstone in the secondary chest over there. Although I can almost assure you that there is none. Also, pretty much every single piece of armor I have is broken. I think it's broken. That's a good question. I haven't been looking. Yeah, it's broken. There is no glowstone in there. Oh, glowstone, one, two, three, four, five, six. Stay away from my doors, zombies. Now. I have, like, pretty much just enough thingies. I think the glowstone and the uh, lapis, if you screw them up, it'll still work. But, here we go, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh. I appear to have grabbed more glowstone than I needed. And my bed's over there. Crap. Wait, can't I actually... Oh, boom. It's a minefield over here, I say. A minefield. As long as the explosive things stay away from my house, then we'll be fine. Ha! Ah! Back, you foul beast! Back! No, seriously, go away. What I'm probably gonna do is later on when I'm generating a very competent source of power and whatnot. I'm going to set up a modular force field unit here with the mob killing attachment. Uh, I'll get into that when I get around to that. That's going to be my logic for that statement. There. As you can see, this is generating power. Yeah, it's only one EU per tick, but... I mean, it doesn't matter. There's going to be a full jetpack of power in there almost all the time anyhow. And I believe, let me just look this up. Uh, not these ones. These ones don't work in this because they require Greg, or not Greg Tech, uh, advanced solar panels. But I heard that the solar helmet, which I'm pretty sure I don't have the materials to make, uh, I heard that it can actually keep a jetpack powered forever, which I actually do have the materials to make. Crazy. Although, I don't want to make another solar panel. Yeah, I don't have enough uh, thingies. But it'll be okay. Because that will charge it eventually. And I think what I'm going to do for now 
is I'm probably going to do a little bit of building in here. I do like the idea of using the marble bricks for the machine room, but I'm going to try and build it as, I think, more so different houses than different uh, sections. Or maybe I'll just put everything along the wall and have the largest waste of space ever. Who knows? But for now, I think I'm going to call this good. I'm going to work on moving stuff over, getting stuff set up, and... Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for next time. I'll let you know when we get there and I have something planned. As for now, I have nothing planned. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.